This is not the usual content I make, but YouTube shorts are broken. What I mean by that is the way we upload them. I'm editing in DaVinci Resolve and I always thought that I can export the video in 1080p, then airdrop it to my iPhone and then upload the video there. But I was wrong. By the way, I'm uploading this short in 1080 because DaVinci Resolve considered uh, like if you switch the width and height of a video, it's considered as 8K and the free version of DaVinci Resolve doesn't allow you to export in 8K. That's why I have to export them in 1080. But there's a still tip there. If you do, as I mentioned, so if you airdrop your video to your phone and then you upload to YouTube as a short, you will get basically no quality there. Let me explain. Here's the video, it weighs 80 megabytes, it's a regular short. But then I, I upload it and I noticed that on my YouTube dashboard, I can only see the low quality version. I mean, it should be at least 1080, right? So I copied the URL, the little shenanigans with uh, replacing the word shorts with V, then I was having the, the regular player, and then I checked here and the best quality I could get was for 80p, which is something that I think Potato is recording better video. Okay, so I re-uploaded it. This time I used the web app, the YouTube Studio app. And here I saw that there is a high definition version, which is currently processing, so I won't be able to see it. I, I will show the examples later on. But the high definition version is there with a the comparison there was none with the upload from the iphone so then i figured there are many people like me using davinci resolve so i'm a programmer this is the programming channel surprise surprise so i looked up how to upscale the 1080p footage to 4k version because youtube does this strange thing called compression and if you upload the 1080p footage it compresses it using some kind of rate. And basically, if you upload 1080p, it looks like total <laughs> But if you upload 4K, it looks almost the same as it would be if you uploaded 4K. But still, upscaling helps with the quality of 1080p. There are many videos on YouTube showcasing that you cannot actually tell the difference between 1080 and 4K footage. And I somehow ag agree with that. But when it comes to uploading the videos, you should definitely upload in 4K, even if it's upscaled. Because this simple trick tells YouTube that, okay, uh, this is 4K footage and we need to downscale it somehow, but the quality will be still better than regular 1080. If you want a proof, here it is. I upscaled, and in a minute I will show you how to do this. I did the test, the web upload, because uploading from phone is no longer happening. So I did the uh, upscaling locally on my machine, and then I upload the video using the YouTube Studio. And here is how it looks. So as you can see, there is a low quality version, high quality version, and the 4K version. Again, this is how the footage looks here somehow with the max settings on each of the video. And since this is a programming channel, look from the future here. I mentioned this is a programming channel, but I forgot that not everybody is a programmer. So if you want to run this comment, I created a separate video, link will be somewhere here, how to navigate inside of the Linux or Mac OS file system using terminal. And now you need to open terminal in order to navigate to this specific file that you want to upscale. But before you need to install one library, in order to do that, copy and paste this command in the terminal and press enter. Watch this video, then every bit, everything will be explained. Now back to the video. Also show you the magical command that does the upscaling. Um, with that, uh, I'll explain just a little bit. It takes a while, but you can swap the last portion of the command from very slow to slow, but then uh, you're greeted with something like this. So there are many artifacts uh, on the videos, like, uh, like this one. Here in a, in a video, you can see that 
there are some things this is unwatchable basically but if you leave the setting at very slow it takes a while but there is no artifacts happening the video basically looks the same as it did with the 1080p version the orig original version exported from davinci resolve that's it like this video so thank you for watching i hope this was helpful for you thanks bye